I am drunk with my own self-importance. Really, truly. That's like nothing I can't do. It's amazing. Every time I turn a page, I want all you kids to go, whoosh. Celebrities write children's books when they realize adults have stopped giving a shit about them. <laughs> and since no one is more qualified to capture a kid's imagination than my barely literate fans, I figured you'd be the perfect co-authors for my first kid's book called the Balding Pelican, <laughs> in the long-awaited return of Twittin' By. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, it's reading rainbow. <laughs> Who's ready for story time? Yeah. It's written by me and all of my followers on Twitter. Do you guys follow me on Twitter? I do. You do? I do. Oh, you follow me? Good. You guys, it's not just plugs. I'm putting a lot of good zingers out there. <laughs> Once upon a time, a piece of crap bird was born with crap hair jeans. <laughs> what a f***ing bird it was. The pelican is a majestic and rather flamboyant bird. Daddy, why do you have such big ears? I don't have big ears, yes, so I do. don't, no I do not. These, they're actually small for my head, thank you. you they're not big. They stick out a little bit, but they're not big. They don't like elephants at all. Losing control. They're not big. He went to the beach and tried to make friends, but no one would sit with a bald pelican. He got bitched by his nagging wife because he forgot to stop by the lake and grab some fish for dinner. Do you like fish? Yeah, I like shrimp. Oh, let's get back to the book. He knew he was supposed to like fish, but was always gravitating towards sausage. Oh, he loves the sausages. Me too. Oh, plus he ate string cheese all wrong. Just bit into it like a f***ing banana. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> he wanted to see some free titties, but that day he learned that there's no such thing as free titties. <laughs> then the pelican took a shit on a random bitch's head at the beach. Why did um, you poop on a random lady's head. I think that's symbolism. <laughs> they plucked some feathers out of the back of his head and then planted them in the front, but it didn't look right. Hey, Pelican, nice comb over. <laughs> he went home only to be awaited by Mrs. Pelican in bed with a much younger, non-balding Pelican. <laughs> But a plot twist. It was his mom the whole time. <laughs> and the balding pelican awoke to find his weird dangly neck filled with Puerto Rican jizz. <laughs> As a side note, a pelican can hold three gallons of water in its beak. Yeah, that shit's true. <laughs> then Bubbles the crab took off his shell, revealing his tender crab meat. <laughs> That's crab meat. Sit, you put your shirt down. <laughs> then the balding pelican swooped in to save the town. But did he really save the town? Because can somebody bald really be a hero? <laughs> no, I don't think so either. Then LeBron showed the pelican how to hide his balding issue. The needle, still hanging out of his arm, began to twitch slower as his heart failed. Heroin had finally won. <laughs> then he was reincarnated as a flamingo. Catching his reflection in the lid of a trash can, he realized how special he is. But the pelican knew the moral of the story was life sucks, kids, and so do seagulls. What the? The end. Or is it? Um, a vision. All right, that's all for today. Now it's nap time. I'm not tired. I don't care what you do. I'm not tired. No, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. Please stop touching me. You are, you are all riddled with diseases. Hope you DVR'd that because your children are going to want to watch it a thousand times. Why not just buy them the book? Uh, there's only one copy.